Alright, so I wanted to put out this video while I still had inspiration from something I watched last night. And it's, uh, it was about quantity versus quality. And how the two are always pitted against each other, mutually exclusive. But they're not, and they don't have to be. Um, quantity often leads to quality. Same thing as practice makes perfect. Um, my wife, uh, I remember her critiquing me on putting out too many songs at once, too, too many one, in a, one after the other. And um, she said, you know, try to get one song absolutely perfect before you put it out, you know, like take your time on it, do this, do that. Um, and so she saw this video of this guy who was an artist who, I think he made like digital art or something like that, but he would put out one picture every single day for like a year, two years, five years, however long it was. But at the end of that time period, he had a lot of artwork, some better than others. That's how it goes. But there was, um, there was another, uh, I forget who said it, but it was some guy who said, uh, write 52 short stories, um, write a short story every week for a year and you'll have 52 short stories at the end of the year. And what are the chances that you'll have 52 bad stories? It's not too good. You'll have... You know, some of them are going to be all right. Um, and that's, you know, quantity leads to quality most of the time. Um, also, saying that to say this, just to let people know, like, where I'm at with the music. Like, I haven't recorded in a while, so getting back into it, like, I'm just trying to, like, have fun with it. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> totally lost my train of thought. But yeah, I'm just trying to like have fun with it. I don't have the, the luxury of going to like a, a big studio or producer who uh, can make it sound 10 times better. I'm doing everything that I do by myself on a Tascam. I went from a 8-track Tascam to a 24-track Tascam with a CD burner. That's my upgrade. I know everybody's on a laptop and stuff like that nowadays, but um, it is what it is. Like... I don't know. When I was younger, I definitely had, like, the dreams of making it and this and that. Um, but as I get older, like, I had, like, a, a subconscious feeling. Like, uh, I guess I carry from, from that. I always carry this subconscious feeling that, like, I need a fan base or I need, like, a following or this and that. And, like, the only way that I'm, like, happy now that I realize, like, making music and stuff like that is, is just letting that go. Like, that's not what it's about. It's about, uh, for me, it's about... Uh, creative expression like I like experimenting with things I like doing new things messing up is part of the process like not everything is going to sound awesome it's just like I don't know that's like the the pure end of it the, like the raw you know what I'm saying like so I don't know I'm just kind of getting back to like my roots with making music and just having fun with it because it's not it's not about uh anything else for me it's not about like I'm not making a lot of money pushing an agenda, corporate, this and that. What I, like, it's not about that for me. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to make this too long. I had some other points. I know I did. That's frustrating, but can't remember them. So, that's where I'm at with my music. So, some of it's going to sound decent. Some of it's going to sound like trash. It is what it is. Um, I'm having fun doing it, and whatever, like, I just encourage any kind of artist out there, like, um, just put your stuff out, like, if you, if you wait too long, or if you're a perfectionist, it's gonna, it's gonna come back to bite you, I think, because perfectionist, like, it's all right to have, like, to set standards for yourself, but, like, too much will just leave you stuck, so, all right, guys, peace.